It's NNX from the Northwestern News Report. I'm Paris Fransway. And I'm Ananya Chug. Let's get to your headlines right now. We begin tonight with an update to the bomb threat situation at the Evanston Public Library. In September, police responded to a phoned-in threat at the library, which turned out to be fake. The Anti-Defamation League reports a rise in hoax threats in recent years. EPD says it will respond to any threats. Ananya. Back on campus, it's homecoming week at Northwestern, and the cats are celebrating. The Northwestern Alumni Association and Student Homecoming Committee have events planned throughout the week including free food, giveaways, and activities. The week culminating in the homecoming football game, the Wildcats face the Howard University Bisons at Ryan Field on Saturday. Back to you, Paris. It's time for sports. NNN's Kendall Wright is here in the studio with the latest updates. Kendall, what's the news? First off is Northwestern football. On Saturday, the Wildcats lost to the Penn State Nittany Lions 41-13 after being tied at 10 entering the third quarter. The Cats sit at 2-3 as they face the Howard Bison for the homecoming game this Saturday at 2 p.m. Heading over to West Lafayette, Northwestern Volleyball defeated number 17 Purdue Boilermakers in a thrilling five-set match. They head over to Ann Arbor to play the Michigan Wolverines on Friday at 5 p.m. And finally, back on Lakeside Field, Northwestern Field Hockey beat number 15 Michigan Wolverines 1-0 this past weekend. They hit the road this week facing the Iowa Hawkeyes on Friday at 3 p.m. Thanks, Kendall. Remember to keep up with all the Wildcat action. Watch our sister program, Sports Night, Thursday evenings throughout the quarter. Back to you, Nanya. Evanston's first participatory budgeting program moves forward this week. Voting concluded on Saturday. The program began over a year ago with Evansonians bringing their suggestions to the budgeting committee in a series of town halls. After settling on 20 proposals, the committee opened voting to anyone over 14 years old. Altogether, the proposals cost over $11 million, but the budget is only $3 million. Now that voting is over, committee members will count the ballots. The money will be given out to the most popular proposals until it runs out. This is the first time the city has done a program like this. Locals have had their chance to make their voices heard and see those things they care about receive funds to get off the ground. Paris? In city news, Evanston saw a much wider bike lane last Sunday at Ridge Avenue. Closed from Church Street to Howard Street, Ridge hosted wheels of many varieties for the city's annual Bike the Ridge event. From bicycles to roller skates, Evanston residents were able to enjoy cruising down the stretch of avenue without worrying about traffic. We'll have more about this once annual event on the Northwestern News Report coming up later tonight. Ananya. Evanston's newest storytelling party is back for the second time this past week. And NNN's Naya Reyes tells the tale of the party that is giving everyone a voice. For some people, the thought of telling a story in front of a crowd of strangers is a nightmare come to life. But at Double Clutch Brewery, it's just a regular Wednesday night. Especially in a time of disconnection that uh, people getting together to hear each other's stories is really, um, it's just a time-honored tradition from uh, the time people were sitting around fires rubbing two sticks together. Story Broom Broom is a monthly storytelling party created and hosted by Chicago and Evanston residents Scott Whitehair and Kevin Biolsi. Both Whitehair and Biolsi have been telling stories themselves for over a decade combined. At benefits, on the radio, and anywhere else people will listen. Now, they're producing Story Vroom Vroom and sharing it with the rest of Evanston. Storytelling is for all of us, and I have yet to meet a person who can't tell a story or a person who doesn't have stories. So with this show especially, I want to make it wide open for people. Storytellers are chosen through a lottery, not a pre-decided set list. Well, you'll find, you know, you'll sometimes think, oh, a curated show is going to be a lot better than people just kind of putting their name in. But it really, you come to these where people sign up and tell, and you get these terrific stories. The hosts aren't worried about nerves taking over. Their philosophy is... If you give people the space to be great, they'll fill it. Sharing stories and building connections. Naya Reyes, Northwestern News Network. Story Vroom Vroom happens for every fourth Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m. at Double Clutch Brewery. For more information, visit storyroomvroom.com or scan the QR code below. And that's all for this edition of NNX. I'm Paris Fransway. And I'm Ananya Chug. For all of us here at Northwestern News Network, have a great night. <laughs>